true story time. Okay, so, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now there's a topic. about 12 or 13 years old and, and uh, my baby sister and I and my dad went out to Santa Monica somewhere up on way on Wilshire Boulevard I guess it is uh, there was a restaurant up there that was pretty neat um, my dad liked kind of health foodie kind of restaurants you know they were fun and uh, so we were sitting there, and we might have had his girlfriend, Jill Maybach, with us, I don't know, but, um, uh, we were sitting there, and I look over, and it's like, hey, that looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger, so there's this guy sitting kind of next to the wall, with somebody else, with some other guy, and they're just kind of talking seriously and eating, and so... My dad says, well, you ought to go over and say hi to him to see if he can get his autograph. He's like, wow, you know, I mean, I never had somebody's autograph before. So, went over there and tried to say hi. And wanted to see if we could even get an autograph or something. But we kind of got to the high part, and that was kind of about it. And Arnold was really obnoxious and really horrible. And, uh, and you know, we were just kids. And, um, so we just kind of nicely said sorry and went back to our table. And my dad says, well, how did it go? And it's like, well, it was mad. And, you know, it's hard because, you know, when you're young, you're real starstruck. But you don't realize that, you know, sometimes people get tired of the fame in public. They just want to eat a meal. They don't want to be bugged. But, I don't know, it was just a really bad experience. Very negative. Um, I thought it could have gone a little better than that. But he was definitely upset. <laughs> so, years later, I was with Bill West, Olympic powerlifter. We lived next door to the World Gym on Main Street in Santa Monica. Joe Gold's Gym. After he sold the Gold's Gym in Santa Monica, he opened the World Gym because he sold his name with it. And, um, so, uh, Bill wouldn't take me up in the gym. And he's like, dress real plain. Don't, don't be dressing real spiffy or anything. Because everybody's seriously lifting weights in there, so you don't want to go in there all decked out or anything weird. Okay, so I put on like gym clothes, you know. So, you know, like some shorts and, you know, night shirt and, uh, you know, that kind of thing. So I could hang out while he was working out. And he learned to be real, real quiet. So I look over there and I'll say, wow, there's Arnold Schwarzenegger. says, well, sure, he's a friend of mine. I said, really? I said, I tried to say hi to him years ago, and he was kind of mad. <laughs> and he said, no, no, he's a friend of mine. So, Bill went over and gave him a big hug and a handshake, and, and Arnold just loved Bill. He just thought he was the neatest thing since sliced pie. And they were talking and laughing, and I was just kind of sitting there, and he introduces me. And, uh, to Arnold. And ever since that time, Arnold has always been a wonderful, great friend. Uh, and he was really great in a point of emergency at one time. Uh, the bill was a problematic alcoholic trying to quit. And sometimes he would drink. And, uh, get kind of out of it, and, uh, we were walking down the street, and there was a, a fence around the
on some property next to the gym. And uh, uh, it was just some grass with a fence around it. It was cross street from the liquor store corner market. I think it was Lucky. Lucky Liquors or something. It was over there on Main Street. And all of a sudden, Bell flips out and starts punching out the fence. And, I mean, busting it all to hell. He's an Olympic power lifter, so he's pretty strong. And he just starts whacking on this fence. And, uh, it got pretty bad. And then, um, I guess he passed out. Or he was yelling at somebody want to pick a fight with them. Um, and it was just kind of embarrassing. And, uh, so the police showed up. Which, back then, the police were like every fourth police car in Santa Monica. And the police showed up and started trying to question him and stuff. And, and uh, some guy's cussing him or something. And the police were like trying to hold on to him. I'm like, you won't be able to. Uh, and Arnold is walking by from the gym with his backpack over his shoulder. Just before he had a, a car or or a motorcycle or anything. He rode a bicycle most of the time. Or walked. And, uh, he came up to me and he asked me what was going on and if I was okay. And we talked a little bit and he showed true concern. He was really a good guy, you know. And he's, he was hoping everything was going to be okay. You know, if there's anything he could do, he would help. And I said, no, Bill's just an alcoholic. He has problems. He's trying to clean up and get better so he can make another competition. Make a big comeback in the Olympic world. But, yeah, so that was kind of interesting. And, and Arnold stayed a friend. And, and anytime I'd work out down in the weight pen down in Venice or wherever I might be, Arnold was around. He was always there to say hello and see how I was doing, which was really neat. Uh, what a difference in a personality uh, from years ago to thinking, wow, he's kind of a jerk and he's mean, to the neatest guy in the world. Just a really nice, regular kind of dude, you know. He was so normal, he was just a regular kind of dude. And then Bill had helped him get into the studios because he wouldn't work and he was broke. And he said, you know, if you just go to the studios, all you got to do is sit around, eat Coke and pizza all day for free until they call you for a part in one of the movies. You just hang out there as an extra, and they pay you by the day. And that's how that all began. But anyway, um, I hope you have a great one, and uh, you enjoy. And um, uh, Bill West is long since gone, but Arnold's still around. So, my best wishes to Arnold, and, uh, uh, it's sad to hear that Columbo, um, Franco left, but I guess everybody leaves in time. Some of that cool old gang, you know. Anyway, everybody have a great day. Talk to you.